Welcome back. In our last video, we finished all the details for the windows and the outlines of our buildings for our um, watercolor cityscape skyline. We are going to start painting it in, but before we paint it in, you need to sharpie it. So you're going to use an ultra fine point sharpie. That's the one with the little metal nib there. there. Um, and you're going to trace around the outside edges of your building and trace the windows. Remember, this is kind of a plan for our ceramic cityscape that we're going to make. And you want to make it look nice. And again, you want it to be nice and simple so that you don't get confused as to what's going on once you actually get your clay in front of you. So to get started on the sharpening, whenever you sharpie, make sure that you are holding your sharpie straight up and down. Now to kind of um, demonstrate this, when I use a Sharpie, I like to hold it straight up and down like this so that the nib of the Sharpie is, um, is just straight up and down. It's not on a 45 degree angle like this, like I normally would write with a pencil. Um, and maybe I can even do it this way. Maybe this is gonna work better. Okay, so it's more like this, and you can see that it's straight up and down when I'm drawing with it, rather than on a 45 degree angle like this. Because remember, these little, this little nib here is um, like a little straw, and if you bend it um, or push it, it won't draw the right way. So I'm gonna start at the right-hand side here, and uh, let's see, I wanna make sure that we can see it. That looks pretty good. And the idea with doing a Sharpie here is to make sure you get nice, neat, clean lines. You can go right over the pencil, or if you feel like your pencil is a little bit off, you can take the time and try to re-correct things. We're going to erase all of this when we're done, so that when we're done we have a nice, clean um, thing to start off on. So right here, I could try to make the edges of these windows a little bit more um, straight and corner-like so that when I erase it, it looks nice and neat. All right. Again, you want to make sure that your pen, your Sharpie, is pretty much straight up and down while you're doing this rather than um, holding it on a 45 degree angle. At this point, uh, you should know how to draw with a Sharpie. Um, and if you don't, we'll watch the how to draw with a Sharpie video. Um, but mostly, you just I'll fast forward this so you can just see what it should look like at the end.
Okay, and that's how you finish your cityscape. Remember, make sure you have your Sharpie straight up and down while you do this so that when you're done, it has a nice clean look to it and you haven't ruined your Sharpie by squishing it down to the side, but you've actually kept it straight up and down the entire time. When you're done, make sure to cap your marker so that it's nice and tight and put those away where they belong. After you get this stage done, take your eraser and really scrub your painting good so that you get all of the pencil lines out. Okay, it's really important to get all those pencil lines out so that on the places where you adjusted things ever so slightly, um, where you changed windows, made them bigger, smaller, um, changed the sizes of them, or just ever so slightly adjusted them to look better, um, that you don't have those confusing extra pencil lines. Um, remember, try to scrub hard, but hold your paper steady so that as you're scrubbing hard, you don't lose or wrinkle or tear your paper because then you have to start all over and that would just be horrible and terrible and nobody wants to have to do that. So make sure that you're scrubbing and getting them back and forth, but at the same time, oops, <laughs> I forgot two windows down there. So I'll have to put those in in just a second. Um, as you get done here, make sure that you wipe all of your eraser shavings into the trash. Please don't just put them on the floor. Okay, you can see all my eraser shavings here. I'm going to put those in the trash when I get done. And now that I've erased them, I forgot those two right there. So I'll just finish those off um, to make my drawing complete. But that's what it should look like when you're done.